know what? What's you up? know what? Ah. No. <laughs> it ain't. You ain't gonna never do right. What? What this, this never. This Negro got on a whole mask. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's glasses after dark, not mask after dark. <laughs> That's all right. You sexy though. What's you good? Sexy. How you doing, baby? I'm good, sweetie. You know, I have to come over here and represent with you real quick, but you know, I gotta get back to work because I'm in the I'm in the work uh in, in, you know, I'm in the work mode. Work mode. I feel you. And you know That's what? Good. I'm not trying to keep you all night. The the thing about it is we did do this before. We did this before, but we had a little technical difficulties because it was just coming out. So but I appreciate you coming back and showing me love so we can do it the right way, you know? You know what it is. What's up? Talk to me. Listen, and uh, don't say anything about my gloves. I didn't get a chance to get my nails done, so we rocking with the market. <laughs> we are out of pocket. But I want to... You okay? You good? You ready? I got my seasoned salad. I'm about to chop Come it. on, seasoned salad. I got my um Red Bull here. All right, shout out to Red Bull. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so Slip. I know that you have a lot going on, but a lot of people don't. What I wanted to do tonight, I want people to know the man behind the microphone, okay? Everyone sees you doing your thing on stage with us, but very few people get to know Will. And I want I want people to know who that guy is tonight. Is that all right? Yeah. We're trying to get to know Mr. Lewis. Mr. Oh. Lewis. Mr. Lewis is the aid in all the streets. Mm. Mr. Lewis writes and produces music. Mr. Yeah. Lewis is a father of mm. three. Mr. How Lewis, old is it? Oh, seven, twelve. You gonna have another one? <laughs> Don't cuss me out. <laughs> okay, no comment. Moving along. Go ahead, Mr. Lewis. Is um, Mr. Lewis is fat man's son. Mildred grandson, Sherlyn nephew, Frankie oh. Cousin. Okay. Okay. So, what people don't know is that before you got on the mic, before you started doing your thing, you were a hustler. You was in the street. Okay? People have seen, who follows your story, they know this, but for the mass majority of people, um that's in my realm you know we just see the startup you know we just see that 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 next level so i want people to know that before you get here that there's levels to it that no matter how you begin your life can actually make a turn and you could just be on something else depending on the people that you connect with you know and i really think that's really important during this time because a lot of people are now restarting they're starting from ground zero so i want you to share your journey with us tonight, okay? So, my Flatbush. Journey, my, my, my journey too long. We're going to be on Instagram till tomorrow. <laughs> but look. Yes. Let's, we're going to make a long story short. Okay. I'm from East Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York. Right. Okay? Mm hmm uh, You met Buster around 9, 10. Yeah, and all that, and all that. And, uh, <laughs> Before I started doing music, I was just doing the street thing for real. Make it 30, 40K a day. I'm happy you know your mind. I mean, you know, just let them know a little something, something, you know. But you were doing your thing, and you decided to transition. Why? Was it after you got shot? 12 times? No, it wasn't even after that. It was more, it was more after I had my son. Mm. Me the 18-year-old? Me, me getting shot was... Um, 
part of the game. Okay. The blessing. Mm. Okay. And also, the learning experience of uh, whatever I was slipping on that course. Mm. You know what I mean? But either here or there, I don't regret the shit. Because I am who I am today. <laughs> <laughs> now, many don't know, many may not know, but I know Fluff, okay? This is my guy. I love him like a brother. We, we ride, and I appreciate him so much. He's very supportive of my movement. He knows I'm supportive of him. And we do our thing, you know. Um, we have two totally different personalities, so this could be a little interesting type of interview. So I'm just preparing you guys, okay? But I do know he's in the studio, and he is working. You, you pr produce. You know, a lot of people may not know that. So share that journey, that transition from, you know, I don't want to say a hype man, but I can't take that away from you because, you know, even complex vibe, they... No, no, don't take it away, baby. I am not, you know, man, Yeah, just, I'm, say, just put the best in front of it when you say it. And, and that's exactly what Vibe and Complex said, that you were the best hype man in hip hop because you see people on stage with other people but you really don't identify like who's that guy like you in all the videos all on stage you know what I'm saying you have a, a huge consistency that many don't have you know so how how does that I mean how did you accomplish that that others couldn't well <laughs> Uh, any, anybody from the country from the street, mm -hmm. they get an opportunity in life. No matter what it is, they get the opportunity in life. We don't, we don't make new terms. We value that. We value that opportunity, and we take it to another level. Okay. See, a lot of people have a problem with authority. I'm gonna take mine out. Especially if you've never been a boss of nothing, if you've never been a leader of nothing, you will always have a problem with authority. Because you don't know what it is to lead, and you don't know what it is to be a boss. Mm. Fortunately, I was a street gang, but I was the boss of my shit. I was 15, about 15, 16, 17. You talk about a whole different thing. Buster Rhymes is the head of uh, Nickel and the Congrande. And you're the head of paper, I don't have, I don't have, a, I don't have a problem with the story. I guess that's and I, why I mean. I guess why I, that's why I made mean him last this long because I got paid for that. Yeah. Some motherfuckers might have a problem with a the story. They might not last. They might not last with me, but it's cool. For those who got it, uh, that 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 boss up, those who know about me, shit like that. These are the things that they value. And the things you learn because it's always a bigger picture. I think what you're saying is um, definitely essential because, you know, I've always seen these memes. It's like people will ship the whole, sink the whole ship because they can't be a captain. And I think what you understand is that, you know, if somebody has to put on, you, you ro let them roll with it. You be that support system so you all can get there. The, the, the point is about getting there, you know, and I think so many people get caught up in, well, who gets the credit? You know, everybody's on the ship. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, first of all, even a boss know how to be a team player. Mm, yeah, uh, exactly. Before he became a boss, he was a team player. Right. You but gotta. You see me? <laughs> I could be the boy, I could be the head, and all that shit. But I don't see nothing wrong being a team player. I don't either. I don't give a fuck. Who get the glory? I don't give a fuck who the light is on. I don't give a fuck if they screaming out the other nigga name. The only thing I give a fuck about is the team winning. And that's why you're successful. When the team is winning, that's all I give a fuck about. 
Right. Who got this job? No, All that ego I'm pride comes from the far. So, I'm, yeah. from, I'm from the scrape. I'm from the scrape. Okay. We, yeah. <laughs> my first, my first hundred thousand dollars didn't come from rap. I'm not even gonna say it came from crack, nigga. It came from hustle. It came from struggle. It came from chances. So, when a nigga got the opportunity. I value that shit. Come on, that Cause I just told my homies there earlier. I said, there's really a lot of money, this and that, far as the old Sudan. Don't you buy this shit, you know me, man. So it really don't bring you no happiness. Right. Me personally, I'm, that's hard shit, good shit. We've been there, done that so many times. It's so boring. Man. Thanksgiving weekend, I spent over to Orlando, and 15 uh, members of my family came out. Oh. And we had a nine, we rented a nine bedroom house out there in Orlando, sexy villa. And oh. my daughter, who's, who's 12 years old, about to be 13, she, um, uh, that was that's our first our first uh, Thanksgiving together, and that's the first time she met the other side of her family. So, to me, if you got a bunch of shit that you can't buy, oh, and it makes you feel happy, and it makes you feel good, and it feels like a blessing. Mm -hmm. I think you rich. I think you so rich. You rich. Because you got a lot of shit money can't buy. Mm -hmm. if, if a nigga think buying them something is going to make them happy, and that's what it is, it doesn't matter what you got. We can buy it too. Mm -hmm. And the motherfucker that got it more than you and me can buy it ten times more. Okay? When niggas, when niggas killing me so poor in America, like driving a, uh, let's say, a phantom truck and all that shit, in mm -hmm. other countries, them shit's is cash. Oh. I know a prince that, that, that in Abu Dhabi that use a phantom truck for a dump truck. Okay? A dump okay. truck? No cap. Yeah, you, they use it for a fucking garbage truck. Yes. Fuck out of here. It means that in other words it, mean, it means it, nothing. Right, right. It I means know. nothing. Wow. All that shit he got, he got money to waste on a phantom truck to make it a dump truck. Mm. But his wife and his children they live in heavenly. And that's it. And that is mm. his riches. That is what he loved. And and, 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 and and you know what I'm saying? That is shit you can't buy. Mm. How you gonna buy how you gonna buy back your little thing? Right. You buy that shit. You can make another one, but it ain't gonna be like that one. Right. right. These are gifts. Like, These are things that to value. So rather if it's a kid or being a, at a place or somebody gave you something. These are all blessings, so nobody gotta give you shit. Nobody gotta give you a fucking not a kiss, nigga. No. So somebody give you something, knowing that they got problems of their own, but they still reached out to you. So you love. So that's a blessing. Who was this flip here? Who was that flip right there? Who? On the screen, how does like you about to come up? You remember Maybe this you video? Find a video? You know who that is? I, at that time, who was that split? Oh. Right there. Uh, that, that, split, that split was split right there, baby. <laughs> that split was split. I don't want to tell myself. Oh, my I wanna, God. I want to know that split that, when. That, that's prime time split right there. Prime time split. I want, I want to go back. What to, year was that? What year was that? Um, hold on, let me go back to it because that was lit. That was actually the this was the break your neck, yeah. Oh, five or four. What was that? Is that uh, let's see, 
I feel bad. I don't even remember. I don't know. That, what's up, Rikene? There you go there. This Cliff, when you got off the tour, who was that guy? That's in, who Atlanta, was that guy? Right, that's in Atlanta right there. Um, hmm. Now, I was in... I was a, I was a whore. I was a male whore right there. Yeah, that was my that's prime time right there, baby. <laughs> I was a male whore. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, so wait, thank you. So wait a minute, this guy, get off stage. Did you have to have a game? Because I know you split. You got that swag about you that I don't, ladies, ladies. Don't let all this hype stuff fool you. This man is a, a very suave, very laid back, romantic type of individual. He's a man, you know, in every essence of the way. I I, cause I, I've heard you with your lady. I've heard you with your lady. I've heard you with your lady. You know, and you're so family oriented. You're just a beautiful person to me. You know what I'm saying, but I know you ain't oh. about you ain't with none of the bull. Oh. And this, <laughs> but oh. this guy right here, I want to. I, I don't know if I could have known this guy. I don't now, know. I'll the Back then I was a whore. So <laughs> see all that right there. See all that that vulture tube dancing around in that video right there. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, Spliff was playing um, musical chairs. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> That musical chair. I want to understand. I'm, that's my prime right there. My, <laughs> my bank account is so stupid right there. I just want you to understand, like that, especially at that time, bank account real stupid. Like <laughs> my bank account was yellow bus retarded. Ooh, I want to know what that feel like. That that time, right? These you know, they're, they're video, them, them video budgets were serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so. This guy back here, during this time, mm. if there's anything that you could say to him now, any advice, what would you have shared with him, knowing what you know now? Hey, yo, take uh, take about three million and put it away, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, go buy that motherfucking uh uh that 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 uh, that that, uh, that 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 two family brick house you gonna buy across the street from the Barclays Center. Remember? <laughs> And, and, and the man was like sixty thousand, and you didn't get it, but you was wearing a bracelet that cost eighty. Damn, man! Like Jay Z said, "Dumbo." Oh my god! Oh my god! That was an ouch, a little bit of an ouch, but it's no ouch. regrets. That 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 place <laughs> right now, that place right now is at least two point three, two point five, easy. But what is it about when guys get this opportunity and all the money, the fame, the women, it comes, it almost seems like it's a pattern, like it's just a setup, like a prerequisite, like you, you know what? To... I'm going to keep it real with you. It wasn't the money, baby, because I was making money before that. I came in the game flop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was already dropping the porn before I was a split star and all that. But matter of okay. fact, I was taking Buster and the whole leaders of new school in my farm to drop them off in the studio. But you had a dance or a BMW? My thing, is, my thing is like this. It wasn't the money for me. Mm. It was more than a, a, an adventure. You know? Mm. I was doing things that my father never got to do. Not saying that he couldn't do it. I just was doing things at an age when he was at that age, he wasn't doing it. Mm. I'm, I'm a six-time felon. And I'm, I'm in Beijing. Right. I'm in Berlin. I'm 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 in certain countries I can't even fucking pronounce. You know what I'm saying? Six time felon today can't go nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a blessing. Um, I'm a motherfucking predicate, dude. I put in so much work. I did things, I got things done to me. You know, I just never been molested. I never been robbed. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But have I been shot at? Have I been shot? Hell uh, yeah, hell yeah. Did I shoot somebody? Yeah, I'm fine. Find out I'm I ain't going to tell you. Uh, did I ever steal from somebody? That wasn't my swag. We just know how to get up, get out, and get it. I'm from East Flatbush, Troy Church Avenue. Mm. This is the 40 when we naughty. Hold on. 
Hold on. Like, you gotta understand. I put a lot of work in these streets. When the police come and help me, they ask me questions. I told that nigga, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> then my parole told me, you can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere. I said, what? Okay, I'll see you next week. You never came back. That nigga was to me for three years. <laughs> then they gave me a warrant. I had two bench warrants. And one was an open case for um for a gun charge. And the next case was running for parole. For three years straight. These niggas looking on the streets for me. All over the place on the street. Nigga, I was on Soul Train singing Wu <laughs> What got you all the check? Wu Hong, damn right and getting checked. <laughs> I was out with my man's and we was out, son. You know what I mean? And uh God bless me. Okay. God bless me. I was on a one. The sound, your sound. Okay. Worked for two years and a half. Proof. I had people work for two years and a half proving where I was. All born and passed. I can't hear you. Cliff, 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 Cliff. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Cliff, I can't. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> I think he's going to come back, y'all. Can y'all still hear me? There you go. There you go. Can you hear me? Uh, now I can. That's yeah. why Jermaine Jackson is back in this bit. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. People knew where because we missed a good chunk of what you said. All right. But, but look, bottom man, line, you look, was doing your thing. But like, my, I'm doing my thing. God bless you with a good friend. Me and Buster grew up together. My life changed. I've been doing music now in the game. 29, going on 30 beans in the game. Still killing but, niggas on stage. Very creative with Miles. Yeah, but I have a question. So okay. you're very creative. All this stuff. Now, Buster is his own personality, but you are able to be right in sync with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. on all this extra weird stuff now, you, I, I ain't going to call it weird, but it's just eccentric and you. Who the fuck you call it weird, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, real talk, you, your demeanor is very cool and chill, but it's like when you get on that stage, when you get on TV, you just, you turn on. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's almost like night and day. And then you're able to be on stage like Busta Raps Fast, you hitting them like, it's hard for me. To, to do these raps. You know, I know a couple of them, you know, like, baby, just tell me just how you feel. That's the only one I know. We live in it and just giving it to you real, baby. Come on. Ooh. Every time we're crossing the other line, we're hitting it to you, giving it to you, making you feel fine, turn the heat up. Come Better on. believe it's going to shine, make your body ride, baby. The pleasure is all mine to my people. Turn the heat we're up. letting the dance flow. You better step to your business and handle yours. Let me do it. <laughs> making your people just one of us to get busy. Yeah, that's all I got. Now you be up there hitting all them songs. Hot, oh, thank no. you, girl. Thank you. You know, you know what? Look, I'm trying to help. Me and Rod did good. We about to. <laughs> you know what? I can see you dancing in the mirror as soon as you came out the shower with the towel wrapped around. <laughs> you. Uh, baby, just tell me just how you feel. We're and... just giving it to you real, baby. Come on. You know, I can, I can flow. I can flow. Yo, but you know. Let me ask you something. Yes. What kind of lotion you be using, like, when you come out the shower and shit? Right here, the Melanie Sky. Melanie Sky. The uh, Melanie Sky. I want you. To, this I want you to, junk. I want you to tell these ladies. Sweet right, peaches body cream. All right, I want to tell these ladies to get that Melanie. Say say the name of that again. The Melanie Sky. When I tell you, it's the sweet peaches body butter. 
Uh -huh. And I keep it here because it smells so good. And I also have the pineapple one, too. But... All right. I want my homegirl to get that because she be putting on that nasty-ass cocoa butter, you know, they sell for a uh -huh. dollar in the dollar store, you know, ain't want to come and lotion herself with that, and, and then and, and it don't last. You back what? ashy again. This shit don't Why last. You, you sweat. Uh -uh. You, that. you see this oil? Hold on. What? What oil? You, you see... You see how it's just. Wait up, hold on, hold you on, know. Wait up. Stop, stop. You know, it's just. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse <laughs> me, it's Corona out here. Don't be putting your cleavage all in the camera. It's, it's only me. He going to talk about this Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm home alone, but I'm glistening. And, and you see how it's just a little shiny and stuff. Listen, that. That body butter, I don't know what that girl did to it. She's a black-owned business. I said I was going to support. See, let me get the light. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I, she's a black-owned business, and I'm telling you, it smells so good. I don't give a fuck about what she doing. I don't get what she's doing. My girl, my girl, my girl smells good. Yo, I'm going to send her some. I'm going to send her some. I'm going to send you no, some to girl, give it to her. I don't know. I, 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 and you going to send her some? You better, I'm going to tell her follow your IG and say, and I'm going to tell her to DM you and say help. So you know what's up. <laughs> I got you. We gonna say I'm telling you, you gonna eat her like a biscuit. This junk is like for real. I told her I yeah, messaged her lately and I said you need to make this edible. If you make this stuff edible, huh, and you know me, I'm modest. But huh, huh. but yeah. So um, but back to this, I wanna know how do you do you study it? Like the, how hard is it to learn? the lyrics and everything like is it challenging i mean even though you're I mean, mc but that, those are tongue twisters for real mommy life is challenging of course everything is challenging but you know when you're doing something if you're going to the gym a lot your body starts taking shape right so mm. if you if you if you're doing music or whatever you do consistent as long as you have consistency you got to get better at your craft right so mm -hmm. I surround myself with people that I feel is talented. Some of them are well-known people. Some of them are, are people that never got a chance to, to really be heard, but they talented as fuck. You got what I'm like, saying? Paper Rock. Now, I know that you put a lot of young cats on, and you even do your own thing as well. I Paper Rock, what does Paper Rock mean to you? I know paper it's Hand Over Fist. Paper Rock means Hand Over Fist. Hand Over Fist. I'm over with you. Fist. All his business, never personal. You know are, are, you, you, are you about to smoke, Slip? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just... <laughs> listen, yeah, listen, man, you have to split from your show, man. Oh. You know what I mean? You're lucky I ain't got some strippers up here, and I'm just joking. But look, I'm just saying like this. Um, hand over fist, man. You know, Pippa Rock is, is, is a bunch of... A bunch of Real talented people, man. You know what I mean? A lot of them that came to the Split Star camp and they learned a lot. And uh, we got people doing Caribbean music to regular, you know, regular hip hop and all that. Um, Army B artists, you know, certain dope ass producers, writers, and all of that. You know, I got in, pa in Paper Rock. You know what I'm saying? So, I like I said, I surround myself with, with real talented people. I got some talented, pe talented people in the room with me right now. Mm. Hi, y'all. You know no, nah, man. We in the building. We in the building. Now, uh, I've had the pleasure. Hey. Yeah. How you doing? What's your name? What up, though? How y'all doing? Hey. Uh, beautiful smile. Hey. How you doing? Dang, y'all deep. She does got a pretty smile right now. I know. Hey. Y'all deep up in there. Where, where you at? My name's Mommy. How you you said Mani? Yeah, Mani. Hi, Mani. I'm Lady J. <laughs> well, you know, thank you. Trying to, you know, compete. No, I'm just joking. We out here. <laughs> also, right. yeah, right. oh, y'all really getting it in. I'm definitely not trying to keep you. I do know some people have some questions for you as well. So if you do have your questions, go ahead and send them in. You know, there's a button, question button right there. So we can go ahead and ask them. But as you've allowed me the privilege to be able to hear some of your music and when I heard it I was like yo like yo and I mean like hot hot your style is so fire and I appreciate you, darling. 
Oh, no, 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 no. It, this is not about a compliment. This is strictly truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, your style, the music, your your ear is crazy. I mean, for, I mean, definitely to be with walking alongside a great, a legend, such as what you guys have done with Flip Mode and Conglomerate, but your ear with Paper Rock is just on another level. I'm and just, I, st I stay in tune. I stay in tune. I that's the jewel. You gotta stay in tune. I'm in tune. I'm, you know what I mean. I'm in these skirts. <laughs> I stay in it, tune. And it's dance music. It's hip hop. It's common. It's outcast. It's 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 bliss. It's busta. It's like everything all in one. And I love that. So when you're, what what's the plans for Paper Rock? What what is your vision for Paper Rock? Well, you know, right now, I would like to put out more young artists. I, me personally, I like to get into movies and shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Movies, movies you definitely do commercials, that. sitcoms. That's what Spliff Star really aiming to, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put this uh, CD, um, CD out called Willie Longshanks and then I got another one called <laughs> Willie Longshanks. Willie Longshanks? Yeah, I'm scared I got, to ask. I got, I got an album called Thank You. So, you know, What's what's Willie Longshanks? Huh? What's Willie Longshanks? Willie Longshanks. Willie, it's just, it's just, it's just sound like a porn, don't it? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> what the heck is Willie Longshanks' step split, Lord? <laughs> Willie Longshanks. Willie, Willie, Long, <laughs> Willie Longshanks is everything in one. Everything under the sun. It, is what he is. He's just, he's just not a, he's not a sucker for love. You know, he, he's sucker free. And, um, mm. yeah, Willie, Willie Longshanks is everything under the sun except for, except being a sucker. Mm. So is this like a, a sitcom? This is a sitcom. Oh, uh, it might be. You just gave me an idea. My turn into a sitcom, but you could. It's the name of the. It's the name of the uh, CD. Actually, Rod Dinger gave me that name. She said, "I'm gonna call you Willie Longshanks." How and is she doing? She good. She living nice. She living love. Okay. Okay. I keep saying everybody keep asking about this Drake situation. Bust and Drake. Drake. Bust and Drake. Drake. I don't know. Bust and Drake. They keep asking about it. The Bust and Drake to track. Drake and Bust the track. I don't know. Nothing happened. Drake is cool. We never had. I don't have no problem with Drake. Drake down the problem with me. Nobody want problem with me. We don't want no problem with nobody neither. Please, people, ah. don't, please, people, don't start nothing. Please. <laughs> please, please, please. Okay. I just, okay. I just, I just got my green card. Behave yourself. I say no, Duddy. What does Duddy stand for? D-U-T-T-Y. Yes, do unlawful things to you. What does that mean, lame and sir? Do unlawful things to you. I meant an example. <laughs> like what it says. Is it in a good way? Like, do, in, you know. Do unlawful <laughs> things to you. So it's not like one of those things where the bad is good and good is bad. It's just straight up. Nah, it's just bad shit that would happen to you good. Mm, okay. So when they be like, Dutty Gal, that, that's what that means. Dutty Gal is like saying, bad gal, you know? Got it. Dutty Gal, you, you, get your, you get yours from the mud. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. You more than a nine to five. You're Dutty. Mm. See, that sounds kind of good. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's good, bad. <laughs> it's a bad, good. You know what? I'm No, I'm not about to do this. You just had me thinking that it... Okay, okay. We got the understanding of it now. Okay, so look. I know your people about to do your thing. Is there anything anyone... Who look at the Let me see him. Oh, that's what he wants. Yo, Tine. Oh, 
Okay, is there anything you want to share about what you're doing? I know you have some charity things coming up right now with Paper Rock and some things that you're doing. I got my food foundation. You know what I mean? Everybody can go follow my food um, foundation. F.O.O.D foundation. Okay, honey, I'm going to pin it. F.O. Dot O dot D. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's um foundation, feeling foundation. That's um F O O O D break it down is feeling our own development. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you can go check that. Um it's Christmas time, guys. Y'all can all donate a toy to a kid. Follow that page and, and just donate a, a toy to a kid, a coloring book, box of crayons, anything. You know what I'm saying? So your love, you know what I mean? And, uh, we can we get it popping. And so when are you doing this so they'll know the time span that they have? All they gotta do is follow us. We do it every day. Oh, okay. okay so follow the full foundation yeah, I just pinned. Shout out to Miss Love, to Lay to Leia Nichols and my man Divine. Um they out there every day, all day, um, giving out okay. food, giving out supplies to people who, who's really in need. So you know what I mean. We take donations. We got um shout out to um Chipotle, uh, uh Whole Foods and things like that. You know what I mean. Um they've been showing Walmart. They've been showing us a lot of love, sponsoring mm. things. You know what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, man, it's Christmas time, man. We are hard at man. You know what I mean. You, you can follow that page, Food Foundation. You follow that page, and just leave a DM and just and let them know that you want to donate a toy to a kid, where do you send it, and they'll give you all the information. What made you want to do this? Shit. Why not? I mean, this thing in particular, you know, that well, you want to my, 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 my friend, my partner, Talea, she brought it up to me. She says it's a good mm-hmm. luck. I agree. Um, Miss Love, my other partner, she been doing it. And mm. you know, we just put the shit together and, and, and they make it happen every day. Like I said, they be full fledged with the shit. So um I'm very happy and proud of the people that I got on my team that's making this happen. You know what I mean? I'm not always there in presence to to, to do work um hands on, but I'm blessed to have a team that keep it moving regardless. Mm. Yeah. I think that's very noble, you know. Everyone has their reasons as to why they give, but I know a lot of times when I do things for people or do something, it's because I can either identify with it personally or I know people who were close to me that who have been in those Let situations. Let me show you something. That's exactly what's wrong with our people. Our people do too much rat race. One mm. motherfucker wanted to be better than the other motherfucker, you know? Mm. Instead of him helping me, you want to be mad at him. Instead of getting the bag with him, you want to be mad at him. Instead of teaching her, you want to beat her. Instead of showing her, you rather call her a bitch when you can show her that she's a real, really a, a lady, a black queen, a Hispanic queen, a Chinese queen. I don't give a goddamn what, what her, her ethnicity is. We're all queens. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be doing better. We, I agree. we, accept, we, we accept all eth- other ethnicities. We are, our, we are people of acceptance. We show love. We show love to, to, to whiteies, to Chinese, to everybody. Mm-hmm. But where do we show love to us? Why do you think that is? We want each other. Where do we say, nah, fuck that, I ain't killing my, my kind, I ain't with that shit. The only way I could kill my kind is if they came to harm my family or harm me. But besides that, I ain't even playing a part in that. Where do motherfuckers take a stand into that? Where do a, where do a motherfucker really show a fucking girl how to get money except for shaking that ass like that's the only thing to do? Where do a woman take responsibility and say I'm here to be an organizer. I'm here to bring forth life. I am a queen. I know who I am. If my mother did wrong, I got to do right. Mm. Why why is is females ask niggas to buy them shit that their father never bought their mother? Why is females giving away her credit and her money to a nigga 
that don't have no credit or money. True. Why am I even talking to a motherfucker that's not even on the same tax bracket or he's not even trying to get there? He's not making no efforts to do nothing. But I got time to sit there and talk to him. What you want me to do? Be broke like you, nigga? Why are we talking? There's nothing to talk about. At all. What we could do is respect each other. Peace, peace, love, love. Okay, got to go. <laughs> I mean, no, that's talents, real. If you have talent, I'm wi I'm willing to work with you. I'm right. willing to work with you. I don't don't look all that split star shit. Don't look at the Hollywood shit. All right, that's good. That's cool. I I, I have fun. I can tell you millions of stories. I want you to tell me some stories too. Uh, I see. Sometimes I might see the talent in an artist more than them. They get fed up. Uh, they don't want to put in the work. They want to come up with all type of excuses. I don't want to hear no excuse, nigga, when I'm watching a nigga like Buster Mines that been here longer than me. I'm talking about been here 26, 27 years. Buster been here 30, 31 years, nigga. And the nigga right. still in the studio like he never had a deal. So I don't want right. to be hearing no excuse from nobody. Don't tell right. me about your my baby mom. Nigga, fuck you. I got baby mom too. My girl, I got girl too. So I got all that shit you talking about. Right. And if we still in here, night time till the fucking sun come up, putting in the work. Nobody trying to hear your excuse, little nigga. At all. At all. Don't want to Some hear people really want it. You gotta act like you want it. You can talk it. But and, and I think that's true, especially like here. I don't want to say just in Detroit, but there's a lot of people who they have the talent. I think it's just really their belief system. You know, so many some people are afraid of success. Some people are afraid to cross that bridge yeah, to listen, know that. You are so right. There is a time where I felt like I was a little not afraid. But I would hesitate mm. because in this game, there's a lot of ass kissing. You know, niggas mm. a lot of ass kissing in this game. Yeah, I'm not good at that shit. <laughs> I'm not good at this shit. I would admit it. I am not good at ass kissing. Yeah, my mom, my grandmother told me that my lips weren't and that, made for and it. That is, and that is a gift or a curse. Yeah. Nigga say, split, man, you, yeah, you shit, yeah, man, you, you know everybody, you shit. And I'd be like, yeah, you right, but I'm not good at ass kissing. And there's a difference between humility and kissing butt. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. Big it's difference. a big difference. I told you straight <laughs> up. I, I'm not. I, I'm not into ass kissing. I'm. I don't, I'm, I'm not good at ass yeah. kissing. I would never be good at ass kissing. I'm not. I'm not. Asking. But you know what? But people that even want you to do that, people that are even, you know, waving, dangling that in your face, don't have good intentions for you anyway. You know what I'm saying? They don't have. They're not trying to put you on. They're they're struck by their own power, and they want to see what you're gonna do. You know, yeah, that's when game. I turn into the spliff you was talking about you want to know about. And I give them some <laughs> old fucked up answer. And I go, they go, yo, man, you know, you got to kiss a little ass to get somewhere. Ain't no nigga. Not this. <laughs> I, don't, I work hard to get where I need to. I kiss right. a little ass. I don't kiss right. ass. I eat pussy. <laughs> and I mean, that's real, though. I mean, like, when, it's not even being funny because I've seen men and women you know, they see, they think it's all women, but there's a lot of men who are more than willing to compromise every fight. It's nothing to compromise when ain't nothing there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are willing to do whatever to get to get there. And I'm, you know, those period, those type of people, I'm very leery of. You know what I'm saying? So people that have integrity, respect for other people, consideration, I can work with you all day. But if I see that you're the type of person that you'll, sell out this person or throw this person on the bus slightly, you know, subliminals and all that type of stuff. I, I watch your interviews. I've watched how people bring, present certain questions to you about Busta. And I see the integrity of how you answer. I see the, the loyalty in how you answer 
as you're keeping your own individual yeah. your individuality. Nobody, man, hey, yo, nobody better ask you no fuck no question about Boston and tell them go suck them on that, y'all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean you know what I'm saying. But but what people don't understand is that I think everything is a test of life to see where you are, where you coming from. It's not about the answer you think people want to hear. It's about the answer that people want to see you're gonna give. And a lot of people, when you don't know who you are, you don't know how to answer. And you are a man that I love. I just love who you are off the record. I love who you are as a man. I love who you are as a person. I love what you stand for. And that's why you're one of the people that I would love to talk to. It's a privilege to do what I'm doing. I'm nobody. Hold on one second. Yes. One second. Uh, okay. I want everybody to know, Spliff don't get hot. Crackheads get hot. Spliff <laughs> got a vibe. Spliff be vibes. Spliff don't get high. Crackheads get high. <laughs> Okay, when you say that shit, uh, no, split be vibing me. Oh, somebody, like, somebody said something. Yeah, split. You said split is high as fuck. No, I'm not. I'm gonna split my high in the fuck. I always <laughs> look. It's past nine o'clock. I always look for the pee, nigga. <laughs> and yet he still caught your comment real quick. <laughs> that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. So look. I'm definitely not going to keep you all night. I definitely appreciate all this. appreciate it. you, Mommy. You know I love you. And, like we, too. and we got some things in the making, so I can't wait to, you know, talk about that good stuff soon. But definitely, everybody go get to the Food Foundation. Make sure you help out. Make sure you show that love because it's needed. And they're doing it daily. So make yeah, sure you go Christmas, and support. Yeah, it's Christmas, man. Send the kid Christmas. a goddamn toe with your bum ass. What <laughs> the fuck? Your kid is fucking big already. All them little old toys you bought your kid before. Take a little salt and water. Wipe that shit off and send it. Thank you. You dirty ass. Ain't sending the kids nothing. Ain't trying to do nothing. You know you didn't even vote. Your dirty ass. Send something. Fuck that out of here. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to send your girl. All right, yeah, we gonna. I'm probably gonna send you the Addy. I got you. If yeah, nigga, send you... some. Send a coloring book, box of crayons, little toy, little big wheel. Yes. Little yes. Sun, little Go to five sleep. and below. Go to five it, and below. Yo, don't send no slinky, nigga. I know. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck a <is> slinky. <laughs> and that just don't ever stay. Like you try to hit it down the stairs. Never. Yeah, but kids, what are you gonna do? Put down the steps of the project. <laughs> nigga, no one they got that slinky. You don't want no guy that's slinky. What guy that is slinky? It's slinky, it's slinky, the wonderful one with the toy. Fuck out of here. Oh my God. Clothes. Do you accept clothes even though right now it's. Clothes, okay. yes. Clothes too, okay. you know. Little coats, little, little yeah, scarves. You know. Little. Okay. You buy a pack of long johns. Hey, don't be trying to send no long johns, y'all. You wore already. Don't do that. So, so no Fuck use items. No use yeah. items. No gently the, you. Don't send me no long johns with crotch things. I'm going to be upset. That's <laughs> bum shit. Okay? I'm going to put you on the ground and blow you up. No, the thing is, we want to show love. We, I mean, come on. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. You can go to five and below, get something, three to five dollars, and make it happen. You know? Right. It's all That's about right. showing love. It doesn't take a lot to do to make a difference. Just make a difference. Sure. Everybody in this room gonna give me a toy for Christmas for the kids. Everybody I showed you in this room tonight. If they I, don't, I'm going on the ground. Boom ass niggas, I'm gonna get them all. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> how, you know what? How do you feel about that? People what? blasting people about various things. I see that a lot right now. I think people bored. You know how what? do you feel about that? I be thinking, nah, sometimes you have to leave people business alone because you can get shot in your face. <laughs> you have at least certain people being on lawyer get shot tonight. But some people need to get blown the fuck up. M80 staff. No cap. <laughs> they need to get blown the fuck up. Kaboom. Gaddafi. You know what I mean? You need to Ben Lang these niggas. Blow them all up. Cause you know what? Niggas is body mind on the law and don't like to tell people, listen, I like men. That's all you gotta say. If you like men, say <laughs> I like men. And let people know you like men. Stop hiding. And, you know, <laughs> women are bold. Women is, if a woman is lesbian, she let it be known. I'm a lesbian. I like women. Women is my thing. And we can respect <laughs> it. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not a homosexual, but to each his own, man. You know what I'm saying? I want people to stop <laughs> fighting. You know what I mean? My nigga, you broke, you broke. Stop uh -huh. borrowing your man car, wearing his chain, taking pictures on the IG and doing shit like that. You broke, you broke. It's okay. I've been there before. All of us been broke before, my nigga. You know, just grind and hustle. Don't tell me about no starter kit, nigga. Don't fuck out of here. Hustle and buy your shit. Okay, mm. there's, too, there's too much pretending out here, man. There's too much pretending. Man. Everybody's starting to smell like plastic spoons and shit. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's normal no more. Females don't like themselves. They see the girl on IG. They, they want to bleach their skin. They want to put ten thousand weaves. They want to put extra, <laughs> extra makeup like they going to the morgue. They want to put. A, they don't like themselves no more. I be, I be bugging. Mm. I got to tell certain females, you're so beautiful, you're naturally beautiful. You wake up in the morning, you smile, you fine, you smell mm, 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 delicious. But, but you know what? I think what it is is that a lot of people, um, they, they're every, I think everyone is looking at the next. Like you were saying about competition, everyone is looking at the next, feeling like, okay, what I have is not enough. I need to get this attention. But they're not even realizing that the people that already did it are wishing that they hadn't. You know, there, why why isn't anyone taking into consideration, okay, K. Michelle took her injections out, why? All the other girls are willing, are ready to remove their stuff, why? The ones that are because doing it. Because it's not natural for your body to fuck you that you did the first time. Who tell you go do that? Because you think big booty, big titties is what makes your man happy. No, you stupid bitch. You should have went to the fucking gym, <laughs> fix up yourself, and get right. I just say, yo. And if your man, if that's what he really want, then that's not the man you should have, you stupid cunt. Go get your Thanks, wife, man. Cliff. The fuck you mean? I know, I know real women with real titties and real ass and real shape. And not only just they, they got look, they got benefits with that motherfucker, like a job. Things to do, you know, inspiration, bitches that organize, keep shit together. Fuck out of here. Like, nigga, please, nigga, please, nigga, please. I, we are past that. <laughs> we are past that. Yeah. We are past that. It's like you everything know? is peer pressure it's, for it's, adults. If it's for entertainment, cool. I'm going to go to the strip club. I'm going to support what's for entertainment. But when you're talking about my life, and I fuck around and might make a baby with you. You got plastic lips, plastic eyes, plastic hair, your eyelashes, your fucking titties, everything, everything. It's fucking fake. So now we have a kid, and this kid don't even look like <laughs> in my DNA. This kid looking like you made this baby with crack mic, may you rest in peace, flavor flavor. Somebody like that. But you know, I think you gotta be a really insecure person. Like you must gotta really hate yourself to just alter no, anything about you. It, it is not, it's a big insecure thing. But it's also I blame parents and I blame the people they're around, they friend, they so called friends. Because them up. and I blame the nigga that they with because you, that nigga's supposed to tell you that you're beautiful day and night, not only on Valentine's Day, not only on your birthday. No, dummy. You're supposed to feel good on all these okay. days if it's like that. Same thing with a dude. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. niggas would now niggas is putting lace fronts on. Cause they hear I see that. I they, see that with the dress oh, and uh, got on the lace everything. Front his <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I see on that. Here? Man, that's just so crazy. And, and then beards, they getting the beards built in. I mean, I don't think these people are, are being intimate. <laughs> I don't think these people are being intimate. Ain't no way. Yo, Ain't no I, way. I'm just trying to understand. Like, <laughs> my nigga, it's in your DNA that your hairline was going to go. You saw the shit leaving a long time ago. You tried to save it. The shit was way back there. You had a little afro. And you put, you try to put it low and make it look in your hairline. Okay, cool. We all know <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Next week, they came back to the spot. You see him. Now nah, nigga got a uh, Steve Harvey hairline, <laughs> and his hair is wavy as fuck. Mm. 
<laughs> They're doing it with with a uh, way dreads. I mean, all type of things. Beards. They're they're gluing the beards on. Look. I mean, like it's just. But I think look. those guys might be, look. you know, look. into look. other listen things anyway. Listen, listen to me. Once your shit is going, going, fucking gone. <laughs> Accept yourself. Love yourself. What yeah. do you buy a hat, motherfucker? <laughs> they got the hats with the weed too now. <laughs> but you're not gonna be gangster running right. around here with a lace front. You're not gonna you... scare you cannot scare nobody talking that tough shit wearing a lace front. Soon as the nigga puts you in the headlock, your hair fall off. What kind of shit is that? Well, let me ask you this. Do you think, like, self-respect, all of that is the thing of, of of the past? Like, it doesn't matter. It's like everything goes now. If you if you talk about who it, you're a hater. Who said that? Who blood I'm shots said everything going on? Who the fuck I'm, is I'm, the one who said everything going on? Most of the people who are right doing now, everything. Everything don't fucking go. Everything don't go. Man don't man. Look, everything don't bumba clot go. How is that? This still re rules, regulation, principles, and morals and shit. When yeah. we all die and go the fuck away, guess what? That next generation still have to live under rules, principles, principles, and morals. It's the right. same shit. But the only thing that has been accepted is that you do you, I do me. If that right. is your preference, you cannot knock somebody for their preference. Right. But that's not my kind of blood clot preference. That's not the cloth that I was cut from. That's not the type of shit I grew up around. And and I think that's what people don't understand. People are like, oh, let me be me. Okay, you can be you. Do you. I don't have anything to do with that. But, but you that, also but have to respect me. But respect that I don't want to be a part of that. Now, this, also, this, is, this is where, this is the problem. Okay. Motherfuckers have a problem of being up. And I, and I try to tell even the artists, I'd be like, yo, listen to me. Do you know that nobody can do you? Right. This is the, this the, this the gift that you have. Nobody can do you. Because on stage, yeah, wow. on stage, baby, musically, spiritually, and fucking physically, I'm not doing nobody. I'm doing mm -hmm. Split Star. Right. I'm not doing the Buster Rhymes. I'm not doing the flavor flavor i'm not doing none of that shit i'm doing right stop right and and you know what that's so true because even a person that can sound like luther vandross would never be luther vandross a person who a person that can sound like whitney will never be whitney jaheem <laughs> sounded just like teddy Pendergrass, nigga and he can't go or teddy and he can't bend up and he can't grab <laughs> <laughs> And I love. And, I mean, that's just real. Still, I mean, that's just real. Still ghetto is my favorite album from that nigga. I still bang that shit. No cap. You know, I'm serious. It's just so when God made us, He made one, and there'll never be another one like you. And never. And I think that is a beauty within itself. You know right what I'm saying? That's your essential. Listen, right back, you go listen to that E L E album. Bust around, just put out October third. That drop, y'all. That go listen to that shit. You'll never find another. And that's I'm real talk. We ain't gonna never have it. another Buster Rhymes. Never, ever, mm -hmm. ever, ever, ever. We never yeah. gonna have another, another what? Not, not gonna have another Buster Rhymes. We're not gonna have another Michael Jackson. We can say that uh, Chris Brown is the Chris new Brown. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. We can say uh, uh, Beyonce is the, the our generation. Um, 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 Diana Ross. Mm. We can we can say. Fantasia, the wrath of God. Is Fantasia, that what is, Fantasia is the new uh, Stephanie Mills. Mm. Okay. Oh, but okay. Let me tell you, this is what it is. This is what it is. This is why people. That's why. That's why those people I just named are some of the greats at yeah. our time. Why? Because they took a piece from the place greats. You know what I what, heard? What's before. one girl named that lost all her family? Uh, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. That's the new Patti LaBelle. Mm. 
But they all they're gonna be in their own lane, doing but, their own thing. But everybody got it. their own lane. Every, every, yeah. man, every man do their thing a little bit different. This is what it is. And the reference is just uh, out of respect of of familiarity, but it's not in no way, no form of fashion in full comparison. You know what I'm saying? It's just acknowledgement, like okay, you have that impact, but it's in a whole different way. And what people had prior to, because they had less to work with, so everything came from inside. Man, it was on a whole nother level. Now we get everything is manipulated, and that's nah, why I think nah, not, what, nothing is manipulated. We let shit happen that way. Yeah. That, the, the, the the music, hip hop, is what we have, and that's that was ours to control. And we letting the powers that be control it because they got something that we need, which is the currency to keep things mm -hmm. running. But once we get educated about this shit here, and we build our own, and then we put our money in, get our own bank, and we have real estate all over the place and doing big things like that. We, We'll go way further in life and things will be okay for our people more. Until then, <laughs> back to God, real baby. So, what do you think the focus? How can we get people to focus in on what's important and not this? I mean, because this was the foundation. Baby, baby, this baby, was baby. Jesus couldn't get them all to focus. Who the fuck is we? <laughs> he was one. He gave us the tools. We're I many. I just asked you a question. If but Jesus, look, if we could, I if feel Jesus, you. If Jesus himself couldn't get everybody <laughs> in the village he spoke to to focus, who the fuck is we? We still have influence in some type of way. But we should how we influence by staying working like we're doing, by staying consistent about what you're doing. Who like it will see, who see will follow. Who follow will become. That's that. So just show up. Anaya, I think her name is Anaira. Anaira. Uh huh. She said we could just show them. That's right. That's right. That's all you can do is just show them. You you can, you can tell somebody this that this that that and they still don't fucking get it. So you got to show them who see. Who like uh -huh. will follow, and they uh -huh. and they strive, they strive to do it better than you. That's uh -huh. the, that's how we that's how we keep on going. You know, it's like a, it's like it's like it's like how you keep it running. You see everybody pass the baton in that race. They keep uh -huh. on going. They keep on going past the baton because the the, the the idea of the race is not about who just winning. It's about Get in there and pass it on so the next one can continue what you started. Okay, but you know what? I think the distraction right now is us looking to build together. I think men and women are in constant battle right now with one another that we can't, that we're well, having a hard time this, building we, together. Maybe men and women have been uh, in, in battle <laughs> with each other for the longest. But I think it's on a different scale now. I think it's, of it's I think course, it's escalated. Because men are turning into bitches and the women are turning into men. That's yeah, the fucking okay. problem. So so how can we how, what do we need what do you think is needed to become to get this happy medium? To say, hey, listen, let lady, me explain something. I understand. A woman got to start understanding a man and she won't be hurt. That's what needs to mm. be happening. Men What do we need to understand? A man is a motherfucking man. And certain things, certain things men gonna do that you're gonna get upset about. But if you know about it, you can't be heard about it, right? I, oh, I, okay, okay, all right. So I'm gonna give you a scenario. Yeah, okay. Talking to scenario. Me. All right. I gotta get back to work. You fucking me up. <laughs> okay. Quick scenario. Quick scenario. Woman meets a guy. The guy is all like, "Yeah, you know, I got somebody right now, but it's not, you know, it's not like that or whatever, whatever." Hey, right then and there, should she cut the whole situation off? Say, you know what, you know what, go ahead and do your thing. I'm not about to get involved. Let me know when you get free. Is that where women have that mistake by him downplaying the situation? Like, nah, you know, 
Because most guys, they're either going to say they, they got friends or they got somebody. You know what I'm saying? Least, and women... At least at least he told your ass, it don't matter if his wife be friends, side thing, he told you, nah, we just friends. But I he didn't tell you, nah, we ain't fucking. He, that's not the question you asked. So he gave you the he gave you the answer for your question, all right. And then mm -hmm. now, now it's up to you to say you want to fuck with it or not. But the fly shit about that, him telling you the truth about it, which shall give a woman option. So if a man gives you option and you chose to fuck with him, you miss you know what time it is, so you can't be hurt because you know what time it is. You know how okay. to deal with it because you know what time it is. Nothing but they don't time. know what time it is. Well, but they don't know what time it is. Why See, you that's don't the know thing. What time it is? Because a woman, sometimes a woman thinks in her mind that okay, yes, if you're why don't, you saying this, why, why don't women stop playing fucking games? I'm a man. Just come to me and ask me. Excuse me. What, what's up with you and that girl? Y'all cool? I'm gonna say yes. Y'all friends? Yes. If you just ask me that, that's all you gonna get. If you ask me, are y'all fucking or did you fuck? We fucked before, but you know, I ain't we ain't rocking like that no more. Or now we never did it. Or yeah, I fucked the baby. So it's us as ladies. We don't ask the right questions, and therefore we get to assuming because we think that you guys are gonna automatically. No, so baby, it's not that you're not. It's not that you're not asking the right question. You're asking a man a question that you know men going to shy away from. That men. It's going to be like, come on, I love you. I can't answer that question. I'm going to hurt you. If I tell you the truth, you can't handle the truth. So why are you asking me that question? Because you know you're going to cry. And then you're going to talk about you want to break up. And then you're going to leave me. And then I, I can't see my kids. And all kinds of shit you're going to do to me. Child support. All kinds of shit you're going to do to me. So why, why even ask me that question? The best thing is, let me grow up on my own. The man... You must let him go up on his own. A woman to get mature fast. She's the organizer. You, 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 you're more mature. And that's what you have to understand about men. I don't give a fuck if he's 50 years old. He have to mentally mature. And know say, yo, my, my wife is my wife. I, I'm done with it. I had fun. He got to know when to hang it up and say, I had fun. I did my thing. Until then, there's going to always be just maybe he slipping in that bus. Just maybe. Doesn't mean he don't love you. Doesn't mean he don't want you. Doesn't mean that you, you don't satisfy him. But if a woman really want to know, she asks a man, why you have to fuck the next bitch? What's the difference between me and her? Honestly, nothing, baby. It's just new person. And that's honest truth. Because I don't have feelings for her like that. I'm not spending no money on her like that. I'm not leaving you for her. I'm just fucking her. Because it's new so person. It's a, thrill. It's, a, it's a man's thrill. It's a man's thrill, just like a woman getting a new purse, nigga. It's a man's okay, thrill. Okay, so, but hold on, hold on, hold on. So the woman that, but what about the woman that's just a new cootie cat who believes that she met someone who really digs her, and the truth of the matter is, he just talking about her like she's just a, used, a new purse. But no, once again. Which how does nigga, a woman know? Up, she, once, once again, a real nigga gonna let you know what it is. He gonna put it out there because he see that you know it's gonna get real. If he hit the pussy, can you take it as okay? We just we hanging, we just fuck, you know, we fuck. Or you gonna say, damn, you know, if he hit, give you the good dick, you be like, damn, that good dick. Uh uh. Now now you ready to put the, the wall up, handcuffs, all kind of shit. You know how your females are. That's what it is. So Some basically. Men are like that too. Y'all get the pussy, y'all, you know, you just fucking with the nigga, you like the nigga, fuck it, you let him eat the pussy, you suck his dick, you dig a little bit, you get, you let him fuck, you let him hit and anything, but now he gone berserk. Now he gonna put rules, regulations, and all type of shit, you like, I ain't fucking with you, now this nigga gonna beat you up, kill you, all kind of shit, all because of the pussy. <laughs> okay, so basically, ladies, if a man is telling you that he has somebody, he's kicking it with somebody, he's in, intimate with somebody, leave that man alone. No, because no, 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 no. Yes, no. yes, yes, you yes, yes. Yes, you yes, 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 yes. Wrong. yes. Wrong. Why? How? You How Why? Because you're, you're going to put yourself you at Why? risk. No, no, no. How the fuck is you going to tell another person, leave that man alone, she so don't gotta what? listen to me. You sound like why, a lonely but why, ass why, nigga. No, why, why, be a used, why be a used purse? Huh? Why be a new purse? Why be just on somebody's plaything? No. I said, 
if you meet a guy, you really like him, and he tell you, yeah, you got bitches he fuck with time to time or whatever, you have an option to fuck with him or not. You can go your motherfucking way. You don't have to fuck exactly. with him. But if you choose, like, you like this nigga and you feel like, I like this nigga. In, in due time, you're going to change because I'm a real bitch like that. And I'm going to keep it real with you now. Let me keep it real with you now. Men, y'all call us dogs. Sometimes we are like dogs. We go out the gate from the house and we wander around. And we might fuck a look, the neighbor dog and shit, but we come back home in our gate because we know where the love is really at. Now, now, you as a woman, you have the option. You know what it what it is. If you if if, if you put a dog in the yard with no leash or nothing, and he ran out that gate two, three, four, five times, every time you put him out there, you all go to the neighbor house fucking with the other dog. But he comes back home. He gonna get to a point where he's gonna be like, I ain't chasing that fucking dog no more. Cause he come See, back home. No, no, no. It's like you keep speaking to the main chick. It's the, no, it's I'm the... telling you one more time. That's all. That's that's all the man gives a fuck about at the end of the day. Exactly. So if he has a man chick and he tells you up front but he has a man chick, why do it? Baby, wait up. If I'm fucking with you and the chick fucking with me and she know I'm fucking with you and she fucking with me, why she not? She don't give a fuck about me neither. She don't give a fuck about you neither. She don't give a fuck about what we have at all. She worried about her. So mm. the fuck is, why do I gotta care? I put it out there and let her know. So basically, okay, wait. So hold on. So basically, if a woman agrees to deal with a man who says that he has another woman, that means you are agreeing to be just an extra person. No. And you should you know, know what it not, is. No, no, we're not going to make it sound like you're some extra person. No. You agree to fuck with this individual. Period. Period. Without any and higher expectations other than... Let me explain something to you. I'm going to tell you this and right now. From my experience, a woman is never mad. Uh, no, a woman is never hurt that a man cheated. Why? Because she knows that's what men do. She gets hurt by the fucking lie. She's mad at the action, but she's hurt by the lie, motherfucker. She can forgive you. You rob, you rob she, yes, me of my you, you will forgive me for my fucking choice. the next bitch. You can forgive me for that. You can forgive me for that. But you can't forgive me for lying, dog. If I kept the shit going, you asked me. You you went through my hiding shit all on my phone. I'm doing all this extra shit. Mm. My phone okay. going off. My phone going off late at night. Unnecessary. Bitch, you know what kind of problems? Let me tell you something. See, I got a short. So for me to be on the phone with bitches, bitches call my phone one, two, three in the morning, four in the morning. You know, females are females. I don't give a fuck if they're nine to five, church, or, or <laughs> prostitutes. They're all emotional, regardless. And they're going to get on the phone, and they're going to blow your phone up, and there's going to be problems. If you don't want that problem, just stop fucking with them bunch of females, nigga. You got to right. show you, you got your shorty at home? Life is good. Nothing is good. Let, let it be. Keep good. I don't. I honestly look, and, and and I'm speaking from. I'm I'm almost speaking from an experienced place. Like I had an experience where a gentleman was, you know, he said he had a situation, a child's mother. Now my thing is, you tell me you have the child's mother. You're not involved with this person, you know, but y'all trying to, you know, do the, you know, family thing. All right, but you still fucked him. You know what? Let me tell you something. Yes or no? Did you don't, get cu don't get, don't get, don't you get still cussed fuck? out. On, you still don't fuck get cussed out on glasses after I dark. Don't fuck. Do what you got, baby. <laughs> it's in your nature. The fuck, it's in your nature to curse, talk shit, all that. It's in your nature. No, Thank I, you, I did. I, I did. Let's I have a did. straight understanding about. I women. did entertain our conversation okay, more. So, yes. So wait up. Stop right there. He told okay. you, wait, stop. He told you about his past. I got a baby mama, which you know, as grown as you know, that when a man has a baby mama, he has to deal with her. 
Okay. Okay. Then one, I, I'm then a mother myself, again. but that's not true. Because yeah. I don't deal with my child. Father. Oh, he has to deal with her. He has a child with her. He has to Okay, I, I got it. Get the fuck out. Okay. Okay, so cool. <laughs> so him and her might not get along. Him and her might do get along. They might get along so well that you might think they are fucking. Right. But they're not mm -hmm. fucking. Because we tell you right now, I got three baby mamas. And I get along with all three. And I ain't mm -hmm. fucking not one of them. Okay. All right? But watch this. Does that mean I can't? Mm. If I was a single man, does mm. that mean I can't fuck none of my baby mothers? I wouldn't say mm. that. If I wouldn't say that. Mm. I would not say that. Okay, so watch this. You do this thing I had a baby mother. So mm -hmm. he's got a woman in his life for life. You know. Mm -hmm. You still entertain the situation. I did. So if later on, is this the, this your, your child's father? No. All right, thank God. Uh, <laughs> if later on, things don't work out between you and him, mm -hmm. could you find him out? He probably slept over there, or he talking to her, or you seen a text in his phone from her. They live First together. All, you looking in his phone, did you pay that man's bills? Why yeah. did you looking in his phone? You grown. God made us as individual. People deserve their individu individual space. All right? That's what y'all do too much. So guess what? You look in the phone, you see something, you deserve it. What the fuck you looking in the phone for? You wouldn't be going through this argument or nothing if you didn't go to my phone. You don't understand that. You don't understand that I might have to just keep it cool or whatever, because this bitch trying to put me under the ground. She's trying to put me in the dirt with child support. It could be any situation. Mm. Me personally, I curse out everybody and everybody, mother, cunt, and I ain't ready. I tell them that no. When, when they come at me a different way, I go, I go in. Because I ain't having that. I don't tolerate the disrespect. I don't disrespect my baby mother. Mm. My girl mm. that I'm with now told me, don't talk to your baby mother like that. You know what I'm saying? That's a woman talking about lady. She didn't have to say that, but that's a woman that respected another woman. That's how much mm. lady my lady is. Mm. So I respected it because I'm a motherfucking man. So I said, you know what? That is the, the daughter. That is the mother of my child. Let me, let me address her differently. Mm. And it worked. It worked. Mm -hmm. I could talk to her differently and it, and, it, and it come across the right way. So like I said, if you see a man and he got this and that going on and he tells you about it, don't fucking complain later. What you should right. do is respect him for the fucking fact that he told you the truth from the motherfucking get-go and then you chose to fuck with him. Yes. I so And you know what? Day, at the end of the day, he not no it was fucked on me. up nigga. He it was not. on me. Did you see me I was. the type of nigga? If I see a bitch that bad and she look that good and I really want to fuck her, shit, I'm going home and convince my girl we need to have a three party. But you know what? Busy. But you know what? He didn't tell me. I found out. All right, he didn't that's tell me. I found out. And, and guess what? And I but yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right, but you should have asked me a question. You should have sat down with me. Little candle light, had to had your motherfucking laundry open or suck my dick and ask me why you sucking my dick and get the question. What? Right. That goes to your <laughs> phone and start a whole fight in the argument. Oh my god. That don't make sense. I didn't Let me was, I, hold stuff. on. I wasn't like that. I didn't well, go through that's, any that's your problem. It, it probably would have turned out differently if your approach was different. See, if when a man want to talk to a woman and he say it was the other way around, am I supposed to walk in the house? Call you out your name, put my hands on you, put fear in you just because I want that question. Because that's how most men approach that type of situation. No, I'll be wrong. Because I could fuck around and be wrong about my whole feeling and everything else. And I did that. And then I got to turn around to you to say I'm sorry. No. Okay. That ain't going to be fair. But as a real man, I know that we just cool and we fuck time to time. So there just might be another nigga. And you might just have company. So me popping up is a no-no. I call your phone and I give you that individual space and that time. You got me? This is a game with men and women. Y'all don't want to learn each other like you got to learn each other. 
the, the reason why certain girls don't want to fuck with men no more, because men don't know how to treat them. But men, we don't I, got we don't got we don't got men no more. Niggas is wearing purse, they dye their hair, putting paint on their nails, and wearing tighter pants. Mm -hmm. Then they yeah. girl, they got open toe shoes, all kinds of shit going on, trying to talk gangster, make me laugh. But that's the way it's going on. So niggas is calling women bitches, 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 bitches. Right. In everything. Right. It's one thing if I'm calling you that, but when I'm starting to treat you like that too, or you as a woman starting to feel like that, then you start accepting that, and then you start living like that. Mm. Right, and, and then it's in here, and then it breeds the cycle. But let me ask you a question. So, if you have a woman, a man, he tells a woman, "Hey, listen, you know what? I have a situation. I met you. I met you a week ago. I have a, you know, I see that you're real cool. I enjoy spending time with you. But you know what? I have a situation. I have a, a child's mother. We live together. You know, but I do enjoy spending time with you. I still want to get to know you. And if that woman says, you know what? I appreciate the compliment, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here." Because I'm not dealing with that. I don't want and the drama. Real nigga it's not... say, and a real nigga would say, I respect that. Because, okay. you know what? That right there will let me know you that decent type. Fuck around to mm. be that wifey type. So let me, let me, let me at least not be selfish. Mm. And, and say, you know what? I like having a fly friend, though. Because we still could be cool without the sex. Okay. All right. Now peep this out. Let's say you do say that. And you're like, okay, let's be friends. But yeah, he's trying to come and see you all the time, always nah, nah, wanting nah, to nah, call nah, you. But, but but baby girl, that's not friends. Like, let's keep mm, it. Exactly. We, we, we ain't doing all of that. What exactly. We, we might see each other time to time. If time pass on and me and that baby mother ain't messing with each other like that, and time pass on where it happened between us, it wasn't forced. It wasn't planned. It was just meant to be, and it happened. That's a different story. Right. A whole different vibe, a whole different story. You got what I'm saying? Sometimes mm -hmm. good friends do fall into shit like that, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and it turned into no relationship or nothing, but you can't fight a feeling. You know what I mean? You can't fight a feeling. So at the end of the day, like I said, real chick, she know herself. She know her heart. She don't want to get hurt. She going to say, well, you know, boo, I respect that compliment, thank you, but you know, I'm gonna chill on that because you got your girl lying into that, you know. And then it, as a real nigga, you'd be like, "Cool, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to hurt you anyway. You too fly for that. You match my fly, so at least you be my friend because we can hang out. Cause you match my fly, you make a nigga look better anyway. So we could be on that tip because I got a lot of beautiful female friends, very uh -huh. fine. I never had sex with them. Uh, wasn't thinking about having sex with them. Nothing. You know what I mean? I got an attractive, I got attractive woman at home. I got attractive cousins, beautiful, gorgeous, and they carry themselves like ladies. So I'm not worrying about the nigga smutting them out. You got what I'm saying? It got, it got to come. You know, I could always tell a female, especially if I know her mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I could tell a female how she gonna be if I know her mother. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of these good women get damaged because they've been mistreated by men. You mm. know, shit like that. You know, men treating women rough because they seen their own mother get mistreated by their father or their stepfather, whatever the situation may be. My, my father used to be physical with my mother. Um, mm. And I think that's what made me not be a man to be physical with no woman. Like, the only time I ever hit a chick, for real, it's when I was hitting it from the back and I was slapping that ass like, yeah! Bitch, 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 bitch. You know, shit like Let's that. Let's tell me. But, but, but you know, I, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Like, I, I don't think I could do that. Only if a woman trying to like stab me some shit like mm -hmm. that or I'm knock a bitch out in two seconds because I can't have that. But besides that, nah, man. I think only time you're supposed to hit him is in bed. Like, you slap him in the ass, give him a little choke, you know, a little smack on the chin, maybe pull a hair. You know, that's the only time. The Here we go. That's the Here we go. The, that's the only time the B word should be allowed. The only time the B word should be allowed. 
got you know, the sound uh, in the back. <laughs> yeah, the B words should be allowed. Then, like, you don't think, like, when you, like, if she giving you good head, you're like, damn, bitch. Oh, oh my God. You know, and, you know, shit like that. It'd be cool. I my mama ain't watching. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. In the bedroom, like, look, let me keep it real. If, 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 if you my homie and we just going to fuck, I'd rather just tell you the truth, what it is. You know the truth. I know the truth. At least we got the respect for each other. Nothing else. If nothing else, we can always have that respect. And that's where the friendship mm -hmm. lies, on respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. If me and you feeling each other like that and we want to be in a relationship and I'm, I'm digging mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? And I want the same respect from you like you want from me, then I choose not to fuck around because... I fuck with you that way. I ain't trying yeah. to play you. I feel like if I felt like fucking mm -hmm. another girl and I want to do something, my nigga, you match my fly. I could talk to you about that. You're not just my girl. You're my best friend. You're supposed to be on, supposed to be on all the schemes and all the shit with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you ain't with that, then fuck it. We go to the sex store and buy some wigs and toys, baby. And to, tonight, you're going to be fed with that. Your name is Federica from Puerto Rico. Oh, my God. Okay, and my name is Federica. <laughs> and we're going to do one play, and I'm going to put mm -hmm. your hair, and I'm going to put some Goya beans and on your body, and also Goya, you know, the uh, grease, grease <laughs> of olive oil on your body, and rub it up, mommy. All I hear is, I'm reloaded. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, ah, uh, I hear you though. No, I do. I hear you. I think that women, we have to become more accountable in our decisions. That we, you know, we try to continue to be led and say, "Oh, we were misled." But if when we're presented with the what opportunity do to make do, a choice, what, what y'all say? What do y'all say when your homeboy, as we know, when your homeboy, uh, fuck a girl, raw dog, he got an STD. Or oh, you got a bitch pregnant that he know he didn't want to get pregnant or nothing like that. First thing y'all say is, oh, you're so stupid, nigga. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Y'all put the neck in it, too. Y'all be like, you're so stupid. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Bobble heads. That's the first y'all turn around. He's so stupid, And he is stupid for that. Yeah. But the girl also was a dumb motherfucker for accepting a raw dick in her own way. Unless, you know, unless they had that type of relationship. I don't know. Mm. Women? Okay, so basically what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is the effects of what happens is when we're not smart. It just plays out. When no. we don't do our part. No, when we both don't. of us, both of us have, we both have grace. We both got the gift yeah. God gave us called common sense. Right, so if that this man chooses to is. make a, a erratic feel, choice. This is what it is. I feel when we get to a certain time in life, a certain level in life, the lies, the fronting, the hiding, yeah. that shit stops. Yeah. Like, you know, like when you're in a relationship with somebody, if you really, as a man, I could say it feel good to push the key in the door, open the door, and your lady right there and shit. And she mad cool. Like she mad cool. She don't even smoke. She hates smoke, but you know, that's your thing. And she just mad cool. She like she like she she show you shit. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's the homie, regardless. You could bring them out uh -huh. your homies and still don't have to be different because she's around. That's uh -huh. that's that rider chick right then. And I would tell any dude, if you get a girl like that, my nigga, you should value that. Go wash your uh -huh. hair. Go wash your hair, nigga. Blow dry that shit and give her a hundred strokes with the brush. She go to sleep. She'll love you forever. You know? Massage the scalp, nigga. Put some paint on her toes, nigga. I told you he's a romantic. You know how to cook, nigga? Cook some food, nigga. <laughs> For real, I don't give a fuck if you don't even know how to make an egg sandwich. Go make a Grown food. man stuff. Make her a nice egg sandwich, nigga. Say, look, you know I don't know how to cook, but I made an egg sandwich for you, baby. Do some cheese but on it. Yo. It's the same way, oh, man. We like that shit. We come out the shower. She just look at you and be like, come over here, come over here. 
She just lotion you down. That should take you. That should take you back, like when you was a little kid and your mother would lotion your skin. Your grandma would lotion you down, and your girl do that shit for you. Or she tell you, "Yo, baby, come on, let's go. I'm going to the nail shop. Come with me. Get your toes done. Get your get your pedicure and your, your manicure on your foot." Yeah. Oh, girl, said treat her like a baby. She's going to treat you like a king. Yo, what month it is? Yo, did you call your dentist? Stay with your dentist. Yo, go check on that dentist. You got to go to your doctor. You took your medicine. Yo, or whatever it is. Yo, you forgot to, don't forget to pay that phone bill or that. Whatever it is, those little things mm -hmm. right there, as real niggas, we love that shit. Mm -hmm. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Because the girl that we just fucking... The girl that you just sporting, the same side chick you talking about, she ain't asking none of those questions. She's not, she don't give a fuck about what you're doing. She care about what you could buy her, her moment, her time, that's it. She's not asking those questions. So like I always say, please know the difference between a lotto ticket and a scratch off, nigga. I'm a, and I'm a, I'm gonna say I want to just say this and and I want to get your opinion because and and I'm normally very private I'm a very private person you know that about myself um especially when it comes to you know dating but what does a woman do because in my situation you know I really cared about this individual very much very deeply and you know the type of woman that I am. If I'm rocking with you, I'm gonna help you build. I'm gonna help you see you. I want to know about you. I'm gonna I have help. Have a question before you go further. Yes. Do you, do you see you? Do I see me? Yeah, you see you. Yes. Are you built? Are am you I built? built? Are, you build, are you building? I am building. So, see you, build you, and keep and keep it moving. And keep it moving and let everybody play catch up. Boom. And there you go. I heard the nigga, my man Sleepy said, I'm hot dog. Better catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that's so. I hear you. I hear that. You must take care of you. Mm. I know you like him and you into him and I'm done with that. But yeah. you must be into you and everything. Yeah. Now far, like, if he feels the same way, then he not far, baby. He right there. He in the cut. Matter of fact, he probably saying the same shit right now. So if he feels the same way, then everything gonna be beautiful. Everything. But you gotta learn how to be. You gotta learn how to be a homie. You can't be his girl. Want to be his girl and all that twenty four seven. That shit is boring. Don't you understand? Husband and wives these days don't even last long. Boyfriend and girlfriend these days don't even last long. For some strange reason, a good friendship lasts so long because they don't understand it. That nigga don't even want to lie to you no more because you're so fucking cool. He uh -huh. don't even want to do that. He don't even want to play right now. He's like, nah, I'm telling you, you she's too cold for that. He's too cold. <laughs> he wants you around all the time. You like one of the dudes and shit. You don't even smoke, but you roll up. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know this nigga, you know this nigga hate going to the beauty salon with you in the mall. Niggas don't like to go to the mall with their girl. Y'all y'all go to 20 stores and don't come and come outside <laughs> one day. Niggas don't like going to the mall with y'all motherfuckers. So we go and we spend that time. And that, that's the little shit that girls like. We spend that time, we wait for you to the store, we hold the bags, we walk. When last the nigga open a car door for you or help the door for you or pulls your seat or pulls your seat back when you're about to have dinner with him? When last uh, that What year? If it didn't happen no right. time then. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, Corona took care of that. Corona took, 
<laughs> no, before Corona came, that shit was right. no more. Right. Nigga look right. at you and be like, yeah, sit down right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. We think this is. But, hey, look. Safe. Yes. Life is what you make it. So it you is. have to learn to make it the best. We all, mm-hmm. made, we all made mistakes. You can't blame nobody. Don't look at it as a loss. Thank look you, American Bull. Look at it as a lesson. Oh, well. I um, did. If you feel for that man, and you and that man really do get y'all cool, and you really think he's cool like that, he make you smile. But fuck it, chill with the nigga. If the nigga ain't worth, that's what I'm saying. If it ain't worth it, then keep on moving. Keep on moving, baby. Keep on moving, I'm stuck now. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like y'all niggas can't be out there. You know you broke. You got a small dick and all this, and you want you bitches to do all these things for y'all and, and, and want to keep order and run shit. You know, she don't want to give you a second chance. You might not be hitting it right, eating it right. I don't know what it is. Y'all got to get your shit right, B. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? I ain't going to hold I'm you. not. On my, on, my, on my little ex ones, they gave me second chances, third chance. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. It's like a it's like a good good dinner plate, baby. You know you gotta have seconds. You I mean, I guess if it was worth a second chance, it probably would have been a second chance. If I know, they, if but it I ain't even going on there no more because you was like this, no, 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 no. So I'm, you looking like that's, that's you know what? Job, it, it's not even about that. It's just more or less. I nah, it was about that. Man. You you were doing the destiny child video. You was like this, no, 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 no. <laughs> You know what I'm but it ain't really yes, nigga, yes, yes. It, it, regardless, regardless that he had the baby mom, if that nigga was killing at will, taking care of the bill, giving the bitch chills, the second round would have been a get down, but it wasn't. So he did not make it back to the <laughs> Well. Well. <laughs> Okay, don't tell me. Don't and tell me won't marry me. Sure go. No, I'm just go. This is a this is an argument. This is an argument with uh, a, a a female that pays her bills, got it going on, and her nigga really ain't got shit going on. Nothing. Here go the mm-hmm. argument right here. Yo, you better shut the fuck up, bitch. Who the fuck you talking to? What, nigga? I know <laughs> you ain't talking. You get the fuck out my house right now. <laughs> You shut the fuck up, nigga. I know niggas with bigger dick than you. Got more money than you and all that. Fuck you talking about, bum ass nigga. You sitting on my couch smoking weed all fucking day. What, what did you do? What did you do? You gave me money for the rent this month? You gave me money for the light cable? Nothing. But you want to sit here and watch fucking power. You want to watch power. Stars is a whole different thing. You got to pay for Watch stars. your other niggas make money. Watch your other folks make money. Now here go, wow. here, here, here go, here go the nigga with the good dick and, and, and money and his shit together. Hey, yo, what you act for? Shut the fuck up. Why you got to be like that? But, boo, I was just saying, like, you don't understand. <laughs> like, I have to, you know, like, that was me. Why you so loud? Why you so loud? Why you so loud? You ain't got to go like that, bro. Like, stop. <laughs> Like, dang, I was just playing. Now you all emotional. I'm so compared. See, see guys, <laughs> see, guys, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. See, guys, she's a female. You see you see that? She, couldn't <laughs> even, she can't even deny that shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. T- <laughs> you know, because you know what's value. You know what's valuable. And things that you don't find valuable, you will disrespect if you feel the need to disrespect it. You know, or listen, you don't care anymore. I'm sorry I've been on this fucking shit an hour and 25 minutes. Ago. You have, and I, I love it. I love you. Okay. I'm surprised Everybody, Instagram ain't cut us off. I know, because we really they do. They respect, they respect the game. Thank you, Instagram. But Slip, I love you. You're my brother. I love you too, like a fool. Shout out to everybody in the room. Now. Everybody that show that. love. You Shout out to me? my best friend, Larry. I see you. And I see Lala. And I see... Uh, my cousin Jazz, thank you so much for supplying my gloves. Thank you. And Anaya, look at it. I, I, a Nari, Nara, a Nara. I said it right the first time, but honey, you was hitting some points. You should follow me. I like your spirit. All right, Spliff? <coughs> yeah. You want to share anything? Any 
Left. Yeah, everybody follow me on the gram. Um, yes. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Yeah. I know that we're going through a bad time, but I want you to know God is good and God is great all the time, every time. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he is. Trust and nobody. So Keep your mask on, y'all. I know this shit is irritating. I, I be hating that yeah. shit, too. But keep your mask on. Wash your hands. Especially if you're going to see grandmama and all that. People with underlying issues and shit in your family. All right? I'm praying for y'all family, even if I don't know you. If my hater is looking at this right now, how you doing, my nigga? I got a check yeah. last week. I got another check last week from a 2005 song. You mad? Mm. Well, I just want to mm. take that hate. I just want to take that. Share that with mm. you. Uh, I love everybody like cook food. Follow me on the gram. Hit me my DM if you are a dope ass beat maker. If you can sing your ass off. If you can rhyme your ass off. I'm looking for the young and new. It's your boy Split Star. I'm out of here, man. I got warrants. I gotta go. I gotta <laughs> love go. you. Love you too. Thank you so much. All right. And y'all heard it right here, Glasses After Dark. I will let you guys know when the next interview is coming. Thank you all for joining me tonight. It has definitely been fun and interesting, okay? Spliff is crazy, but that is my brother. I love him. And I'm so grateful to God to have met so many wonderful people, not just in the business, but just hearts. So I'm grateful. I feel blessed. And thank you for every single person who joined me tonight. So I hope to see y'all again on Glasses After Dark. We took it off because he had his glasses together. So I thought I'd rock with him too. So, all right, y'all. Have a good night.